House Tipster Industry Live is your ultimate destination for trend spotting and design news. We are your voice in the design community. It's Christopher Grubb with House Tipster. Hi, it's Patty Carpenter. We're at Alice Needham Studios with House Tipster. With the beautiful and successful Kathy Ireland. And someone you might recognize, Jane Seymour. Look who am I with, Hi. Kelly Ellis. <laughs> Big thanks to our sponsors. Hi, it's Christopher Grubb with House Chipster. We're at ICFF New York City. Look who I'm with, Terry Cruz. Hey, hey, how you doing? Good, Mr. how are you? Good, Good, to, Good see to see you. you. We have a mutual friend, one of my best girlfriends, Jacqueline Mozzarella. Everybody hates Chris. That's right. Everybody hates Chris. We did four seasons, took over the world. Well, she raves about you, just oh, to warn I you. Love She's Jackie. great. Well, we're here at Bernhardt, and you're doing a collection, third collection for them. That's right. This is the third iteration of my collection for Bernhardt Design. Um, this is like my life. I have to tell you, design, I started out as a fine artist. I mean, oh, I, I had an art that. scholarship before I had a football scholarship. Uh, one of my first jobs in entertainment, I did courtroom sketches for uh, my freshman year of college for the local TV station. And I mean, art is everything for me. And once I was in, even when I was in the NFL, I spent seven years in the NFL, Rams, Packers, Chargers, Redskins, Eagles. But when I got cut, I would go back in the locker room and ask the players if they wanted their portraits painted. And oh, wow. this is how I survived. Money on the side? Yeah, yeah that, that was. That was. <laughs> always money on the side. That was the thing. And as an artist, you have to really find ways to pay, pay your bills at the same time. Well, one thing is, as being you know, an artist all the way, art is everywhere. And one thing I realized is that it's also in furniture and products and everything you see has to be designed. It has to be created. And so about five, six years ago, I took a really good, like uh, a good look at the world around me. And I decided to apply my art talent to my own world. And I was like, you know what? I looked at a chair and I was like, I can do better than that. You know? And so I started, instead of sketching people, I would sketch objects, sketch chairs, sketch sofas, sketch tables, sketch all this stuff. And well, let's talk what about some I, this, Can this is my we're, brand yeah, new this. the Becca sofa here and Becca chair. Now, let me tell you what the, the, the inspiration for the Becca is about is it's, my wife's name is Rebecca. OK, I was this say. is designed and, and based on my wife. First of all, my first collection was very angular, very male. This one is very voluptuous, okay. very sexy. It Rebecca looks good from the behind <laughs> and looks good in the front, just like my wife. I'll tell you that. I it's love very, that. it's I a family love show. That. I know it's a family show. But I'm trying to tell you, it's. We're talking design. It's the curves, the, the male and female, masculine, totally, and feminine with design. Totally. It's a very, let me tell you, it's so sexy. And I, I want to even bring that one up there. It's, it's so, it looks like lips. I was going to gonna say, from I mean? afar, it looks like lips. And it literally feels like a warm hug when you take a, a seat in it. And I wanted to kind of get in touch with my feminine side as I designed it. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So just to give it that whole thing. And this is the real satisfying part about design, you know, because when it's, when it's in your head and you have a company that can actually create it and make it exactly, even better than what, what, the way you thought about it, that company is Bernard, and I, I knew I would be with these guys for a long time. And what material do you like to use? Because this is a leather, that's a velvet. Is there a variety? Because there's your mask and feminine as well with the velvet. It, although velvet, in my projects, crosses over. Yeah, well, you know what? This is the good thing about what Bernhard does, is that I basically design the template. And then you go on BernhardDesign.com, and then you have a choice of the color, the fabric, the velvet, the leather, you know, and you have to use their specific things that they use because they don't want it to get a little, you know, too crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to keep the integrity of, of what the they're brand. trying to do yeah. Yeah. and of the brand. But when you look at it, it's the finest leather you could ever get. This is a company that's on par with the Italians, some of the, some of the best in the world. Yeah. And... Um, it's really, really worth it, I'll tell you. Where do you get your inspiration? Because we talked about Rebecca. That's yes. a good inspiration. Yes. But where else? Are you out in the world seeing things? Architecture is a lot of my inspiration. Is nature for you? Where do you get your inspiration? You know, I, I, I get a lot of my inspiration from stories, from narratives, from films, from movies. Um, a lot of this has very, you know, to me, everything, when you're talking about design, you have to start with a story. Uh, even when I started this, this was a story of my wife. 
-hmm. You know what I mean? But my last collection was a story, I, I had a story that I had in my head with like, what if Egypt was the dominant culture in, in today's society. So I had the Ibis sofa, which was based on hieroglyphics. Even this table right here, mm -hmm. this is called the float table, but it's based on pebbles in the Nile. Oh, and so cool. it looks, it's shaped like a pebble, but it's also supposed so to be not, floating. Yeah, but I like it's asymmetrical. From afar, it looks symmetrical, and I love this edge You detail. see the bevels, the edges, yeah, but also the, the illusion is, is that you, it's floating. And you're supposed to feel like you are knee deep in the Nile. That's that. the whole thing. It's kind of like, you know, you're, you're, it's a pebble in the river. You know what I mean? And so all these end tables have that kind of connotation. So these are the stories right. that you get when you're designing. And it, I, it doesn't stop. It just well, never stops. It's funny because I, I do showcase houses and we create a client. And an artist is an actor. I wondered if you create a client, like if you have a character you see buying your product or putting it in their house. I do. I, you okay, know, it's, 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 okay. it's the best way to do it. Listen, even today, like you're, I'm in New York City. I wore an outfit I felt was New York City gangster. <laughs> I said it's today, it's marketing. yeah, it's now marketing. I said, you know, in LA they'd be like, what in the world? Oh my God, here comes you know. But I knew in New York. This is the feel, the hard pinstripe. I said, this is, a, I created a character to come sell my own furniture today. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. So I totally get what you mean. Totally. Thank you so much for the time. Oh, it was thank you. To get thank to you. See you and, and congratulations on this collection. Magnificent. Thank you so and much. And a hi to Rebecca. All right. All right. Thanks, Christopher. Thank you. Thanks for watching this live stream. Stay tuned for next episodes. Don't forget to share and like our page. Big thanks to our sponsors. Check out our website for sponsorship opportunities.